always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Nice night across West Michigan, including here in Grand Rapids. We're still under clear skies. That's going to be changing for us as we head toward daybreak tomorrow. That's ahead of a cold front that's going to be dropping south and bringing the chance for some showers. In the meantime, Storm Track Live is clear. No rain in sight. You have to head up to the UP to find the nearest batch of rain that is associated with the cold front. And this is going to be pushing through West Michigan during the midday to afternoon hours tomorrow. Again, that brings a chance for some showers. Really our only rain chance this week. Quiet weather returns beginning on Wednesday along with sunshine. Looking pleasant right on through Labor Day weekend along with warming temperatures and some 90s not entirely out of the question by the middle of next week. First, I'll show you a future cast. You can see that by tomorrow morning. We may still see some clear skies off of the south, but partly cloudy skies will gradually be taped taking over from the north. Here comes that cold front drops through early afternoon, brings a batch of some showers, perhaps a few rumbles of thunder. Any given location likely won't see more than an hour's worth of rainfall, so nothing substantial. That slides through. We're then left with uh, partly cloudy skies, a slight chance of a few more showers in the evening, drying out overnight, and then we see the sunshine return for us heading into the day on a Wednesday. Rainfall amounts certainly not going to be anything impressive on the order of just a few hundredths of an inch to up to two tenths. A few spots over toward Bay City, Saginaw, Midland may see more, but I think for the most part, we're just going to get uh, a few hundredths of an inch for most locations. Here's a view out of South Haven Buoy Camp just before sunset tonight. Man, what a gorgeous view there. It's been a while since the lake has been this calm on our camp. It's going to be changing tomorrow. Beach has her statement in effect for the entire coastline from Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday morning. Waves expected to build to three to six feet. Not going to be great, a great beach day tomorrow anyway. Just keep that in mind if you are planning on heading out for the second half of the day. 62 now in Grand Rapids, 64 in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek, down to 58 in South Haven and Holland. Off of the south, well, we continue to track some major tropical activity. Hurricane Franklin, a Category 4, winds of 150 miles per hour. Latest update tonight, remains Adalia at a tropical storm, which is good news. Winds at 70 miles per hour, but as we head through the next uh, several hours, we're expecting it to become a hurricane by tomorrow morning and likely making landfall on the eastern uh, half of the Florida Panhandle as a Category 3 come Wednesday morning. Your eight-day forecast shows high temperatures in the mid-70s tomorrow, down to 70 for Wednesday, but then the warm-up begins. We're at 80 beginning Friday. By Labor Day, we're close to 90, and we're forecasting high of 90 next Tuesday. So a really nice stretch of some late summer weather here in West Michigan. Yeah, perfect timing, too, on yeah. that. All right, thanks, Blake.